Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups, and today I'm excited to take you through the Anchor protocol that is on the Terra chain. Now, what's really great about this protocol is you can use it as you please. And what I mean by that is you can literally use this protocol just as a bank savings account. And this is why this protocol caught my eye because it was offering an eye popping 20% interest a year. So um, when I heard that, I was like, okay, let me explore. What are the risks? How does it actually work? Uh, what options does it have? So that's what I'm going to do today. Today, I'm going to take you through the Anchor Protocol. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can just deposit your funds to earn interest, how you can use the protocol to borrow against the Luna token, the native um, asset for the uh, Terra chain, and all the little bits and pieces associated with it. What this tutorial won't be about is how does the interest rate work? How do they keep it at 20%? I'm not going to go through the inner mechanics of how this works because I feel there are people in the um, Terra c community that articulate this brilliantly. Uh, but purposes of my tutorials are always just to show a user from start to finish how you do things. Now, a few things you need to know is you need to obviously, if you haven't already and are the first time looking at this sort of stuff in this ecosystem, you need to install and set up the Terra Station extension on your browser. Once you've done that, uh, the second thing you need to do is ensure you have a little bit of Luna in your wallet. As you can see, I had done a bit of a transfer uh, because I'm going to show you how to you can borrow Mint UST using Luna as well. And the last thing you have to remember is traditionally, if you are sending Luna from one wallet to another, you would get charge fees via Luna, just like every other blockchain ecosystem, the native tokens use for fees. But when you're using protocols like Anchor on, on this ecosystem, Anchor will take all its transaction fees via the stablecoin UST. So you need to have a little bit of UST in your wallet. Now, there's a few ways you can get it once you've either moved Luna into your wallet, you can use the Terra Station desktop app and use the inbuilt swapping exchange in there and swap your Luna into USDT just a little bit. Um, or you can use exchanges like KuCoin. That's what I use where I um, swap my UST, USDT sorry, into UST and then send it through because um, I just use a central way bridge to move a UST into my Terra Station wallet and then deposit it into the Anchor protocol to earn that sweet interest. Now, you may have seen straight away, but he just said 20% and I can see it's 17.78. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a few things, obviously, with the market correcting heavily. This is when I've created this tutorial. It has had impacts to that, but this is slowly working its way back up to 20% or close to that. So let's get started. Let's say you've heard of this, you've got USDT and you go, you know what, I want to use, I want to get this 20% interest or 17.78. You've gone to KuCoin and swapped your USDT uh, to UST. God, I'm saying it too much. <laughs> it's starting to get become meaningless, but you've swapped it to UST and you've sent the UST into your wallet. Once here, if you just want to earn interest, all you need to do is deposit it. So once you do it, you connect to your wallet. It'll have an option if it isn't already connected. And then you just simply click deposit. Now, remember, in my wallet at the moment, I have four USD, uh, UST and everything. Remember, this protocol takes its fees via UST. So I have to ensure I have some in my wallet to pay for transactions and I would suggest leaving five to ten dollars in there always. So what I'm going to do is just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to show you how without using any of the borrow, bond, any of the other features if you're a new user and you just want that sweet interest rate you bring your USDT UST onto um, your wallet you click deposit and in this instance, I'm just going to put $1. You can see I'm paying $0.25 cents for that. Now, if I was putting in $1,000, I'm still paying the same same transaction fee. It doesn't go up by how much you deposit. And so you can see it'll deduct that. I'm going to do this just for the sake of it. The first thing, as always with anything, most chains, your wallet, your password. So I'll put that in. And I've created this as a showcase wallet for this tutorial. And you can see straight away it's gone in there minus the little fees. 
and you can see as soon as I've put in it tells me how much interest I'll get based on my amount. Now what you'll also notice right away when you click on your wallet you have a new asset in there. This is the AUST. It works similarly to Compound. Well I haven't deep dived into this but they all have the same you know they give you an A or that protocol's token so uh, where it's interest bearing and that's where this amount will always stay the same but reflecting on the screen it will show you interest and then when you withdraw it this will disappear and it just ends up being UST back in your wallet. So this is just how simple it is once you get it UST in your wallet to earn that excellent interest rate. Now the next thing this protocol allows you to do is to lock the native Luna token. So if you have a ton of it, like you saw I have a hundred of it sitting there doing nothing, if I haven't got it staked, I can come to this protocol, lock it up and borrow money on it and go and do as I please. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that because I know the first time as a user, I wasn't aware. There's a few different mechanics, so I had to dig to understand what I need to do to do that. So the first thing you need to do is if you need to borrow against the Luna token, you need to bond it first. And this is where you head over to the bonding tab. And when you're there, you have three options. There's mint. So that's what you need to do. You need to mint it from Luna. You can see it's got a balance for me of 101 and it turns it into B Luna. And then you can go and borrow against it. But I'll just quickly take you through now. If you have B Luna in your wallet, if you want to get it back to Luna, it is uh, through this burn process, which I'm not going to do through in this tutorial. And the last thing, what is actually cool here is you can bond your Luna and just leave it, not actually put it up as collateral and take a loan and have, play any risk there. Just leave it as bond Luna um, and you will earn uh, some rewards will just start stacking up automatically every day when you come here via fees, etc. So uh, these are the three sections here. Today we're going to focus on Mint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 90 because I want to show you how the loan process will work. I'm going to take 90 of the Luna and, and bond it to become B Luna. That's why it's got the B in front of it. So now the validators. So after a bit of research, you know, they have only got a handful of validators. Uh, I, I don't know any specifically different aspects of what they give you. I don't believe it's anything. It's just these are the various validators you can pick from. Um, I could be wrong there. Apologies. But uh, for now, I've been picking staking fund. And you can see over here whether I'm doing 90, even if I do 80, you know, no different that fee aspect. Because remember, I said anything that happens on Anchor, you get charged a fee instead of Luna, it will be in the UST. So I'm going to put it back to 90, which will give me this much. There's always a slight variation. And we're going to click Mint. Again, as always, anything you go to do. Give it a moment. And done. OK, so we'll hit OK. Now, you can already see my Luna. My Luna has dropped, however, if I go to this section, which nothing there, that's okay. So let, let's head on over to, so once the bonding is done, you've done your bonding. The next thing you want to do is I want to borrow against it. Because remember, again, I am, the, this part of the tutorial, I'm showing you how to borrow against your native asset, Luna. First you bond it, then you come here and you go to the borrow section. So let's break down this screen over here. Okay, so you've got a few buttons up here, borrow, repay. This is the collateral value, how much I borrowed. Now this is the APR. Okay, now what does this mean? So uh, I'll show you. Over here, what this is implying is you'd be paying a 15% fee rate, right? Not fee, a rate on how much you borrow. But at the same time, when you're borrowing, the other unique aspect is you are earning the governance token of the Anchor Protocol, which is the ANC token. Now, that's why when you're looking at that, it's giving you an APR. Even though you're, you're getting charged this, overall, based on what you would earn, based on the loan you would take, you would actually be earning money by using the protocol and this is a lot of people are doing this they're mining the ANC token and as soon as they're earning it they're selling it for profit and paying down their loan or using various other strategies 
So back to this, the next step, so you're here and you think, okay, well, I want to do this. I want to borrow some, mint some UST. How do we do that? So the first thing we do, and I'll just quickly show you over here as well. Remember how when I did my deposited that dollar in there, the same time when I minted um, B Lunar, when I bonded it, you can see my wallet straight away has that B Lunar. Okay. So first thing we want to do is we want to provide B Lunar as collateral. Now, I'm going to put in, I'll just put in 80. Okay. So as soon as I'm putting in 80 based on the market value, etc which is at the moment five dollars something american it's saying the borrow limit this would be my limit would i borrow to it no but i'll get into that in detail so first thing again every transaction is a fee in ust this is why you always keep some ust in your wallet otherwise you'll find yourself it'll say insufficient funds so i'll proceed here give it a moment and done okay so you can see as soon as I've supplied provided that B Luna as collateral straight away the value it gives me the total value of I've supplied obviously I haven't borrowed anything yet hence no nothing there and a, a bit more information has popped up based on the loan to value ratio etc now I'm gonna keep this very simple so I've done one step. The next step is to actually borrow. Okay, so let's click on borrow and you can see that it, it won't actually let me borrow, you know, the original amount when it was when we were doing it earlier. Uh, and, and that's intentionally so. So from my point of view, whenever I'm using protocols like this, risk managing your assets is important because if you put yourself in a position where you've over borrowed and this is a great example. So if, if I actually go all the way up to just here it not only is it telling me but what this is telling you is that if the price of Luna were to drop to this aspects of your collateral will get sold to start paying off your debt so this is something to be very cautious of okay and based on that you know always play it safe with these things don't don't think ah oh, but i'm gonna get this token and i'll sell it yeah that's all well and good but you've seen how quickly crypto crashes i mean when i'm recording this luna was trading at 15 and you know it had dropped to five dollars in the space of two days and this is not unique to luna it happened to everything but this is where better be safe than sorry okay so in this example what i'll do is i will uh, keep it to dollar 50 which allows me to mint 60 dollars always in crypto everything is over collateralized it's just the way it works so you can see i have a transaction fee it's a bit higher than normal and the amount i will receive is 59 dollars. and again covering off what i'm looking at here is if the lunar asset were to drop to a dollar 50 it would start selling my collateral that I've put up, which is the B Luna of 80 of them, it would sell bits to pay down the loan. It wouldn't just liquidate all my assets there, but it would start liquidating what it needs to pay out the loan. So I'm going to hit proceed. And that's to pay out the loan as in to pay the debt down. And there we go. Okay, so let's relook at what, what's going on now. You can straight away see I have borrowed $60. This is the collateral I've put up, the, the amount of value. And you can see over here as well, I've provided 80 Luna. Okay, and the current price you can see is $5.64. And my liquidation price, this is why it's got the $1.50 here, that's underneath is a $1.50. So this is this is very be very careful with this and make sure you're planning accordingly okay so what's next let's head back on to the urn now you can straight away see i have sixty one dollars and ninety cents so what's great about this is look at this i have i'm paying a rate i'm paying fifteen percent fifteen point four one percent to borrow the sixty dollars However, I can slip it into the interest, into the account, earn section, and earn close to 18%, and usually it will be 20%. So 
right away from what I've borrowed and I've shown you in small amounts but once you start putting 10,000 20,000 in here you start it it makes a huge difference um, I would be earning close to a four to five percent difference if it was at 20 percent so five percent interest on a loan I've taken so that itself is brilliant and the next expert aspect you can see is the anchor token um, the anchor token the ANC you can see over here right away, as soon as I've taken a loan, I've started to earn some rewards here. So what what this is, is after a few days, whatever's there, depending how much, I can claim the rewards. I could stake it to earn a further 3% or I could sell it. That part I leave to the user, it's not advice, but that, that's where it calculates at 200%. Essentially, you're get earning this token at the moment the market price is this. So if you were to sell it based on what you earn, you would end up with that extra AP, APY. Okay, so I think that has covered everything. Now, the final step I'll show you here is, you know, so I've taken that, uh, I'll take that 60 and what I'll do is I'll put $55, I'll pay that fee. and give it a moment and that's it so you can see now in in this tutorial I've done a quite a lot so I can tell uh, using this tab over here you can see now my daily interest rate would be two cents based on 56 week month year now look the you it's all very simple but it, it's giving you all the information you need and and there is you know new enhancements coming to the protocol in fact quite a lot uh, which I'm excited about but at its core what I love really about this is I can literally just walk in here without having to um, mint or put any collateral at risk if I wanted to and just deposit UST in and earn this great interest rate um, on the flip side what I've, you've seen me do is I've taken shown you taking you through all three aspects so remember if you want to borrow against the asset you need to bond it first then you go to borrow and do it so if you just follow each of the steps in this tutorial you will be fine and should have no issues if you are seeking more information around how exactly the mechanics of the collateral works they have a fantastic help section I I was in there just before you can see it's extremely well built out so definitely jump in there and deep dive and there's people in the telegram groups that just help any question you ask okay so once again I, I, I do love this protocol I encourage everyone to just dabble and have a look at it and use it and get used to it it's a great stable way to earn that 20% um, on your stable coins, especially if, say, we are going into a bear market, who knows? Uh, but uh, what a fantastic way to earn some killer interest rates that you just wouldn't see in traditional markets. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe. I'm really hoping um, the content is valuable. If you have any questions, ask away. I do attempt to answer everything I can on my channel, and I will continue to do so. Once again, Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you're enjoying the content. Take care, everyone.